Tide goes in, tide goes out. Never a miscommunication. You can't explain that. You can explain why the tide goes tide in. Tide goes in, yeah. tide goes out. See the out. water, the tide comes in and it goes out, Mr. Silverman. Uh, maybe it always comes in on top of Mount Olympus, out. who's making the tides go in and no, out. No, no, but you can't explain a scam that. and a myth. David Beverly Hills, Florida. Uh, what do you mean when you refer to the tides? When you asked about the existence of God, science explains the tides. The moon's gravity pulls on the ocean. Okay, how did the moon get there? How did the moon get there? For decades, the leading theory on how the moon formed has been the giant impact hypothesis, sometimes called the big splat. The idea is that Earth was struck by a Mars-sized planet back in the early days of the solar system. The impact caused debris to be scattered into space near Earth, which eventually formed the moon. A writer for Discover magazine describes the impact, saying it reduced the Earth to a bleeding molten gob of star stuff, leaking like a junior mint shot by an air rifle. But there are some problems with the theory. Scientists have had a tough time figuring out exactly how the impact might have played out. Computer simulations show the moon should be made mostly out of material from the other planet. That means moon rocks and earth rocks should be different. But they aren't. In fact, moon rocks and earth rocks are virtually identical. For decades, scientists have been unable to reconcile those two facts. Until now, two papers published in Science this week both showed the impact could work if the early Earth was spinning much faster when it happened. In one of the models, a smaller object hits an Earth that's spinning so fast it has a two and a half hour day. This simulation shows how the right mix of debris would be thrown into space. The two large objects essentially merge, explaining why there doesn't appear to be any foreign material. The fast spanning Earth model wasn't much of an option before because scientists couldn't explain how the Earth eventually slowed down. But the researchers came up with an answer for that too. A new scientist explains the mechanism involves gravitational tugs by the sun on the moon that in turn allow the moon to steal momentum from the Earth, slowing it more aggressively. So the researchers came up with a new model for the Earth's spin, which led to new models of giant impacts, which led to new explanations for how the Earth formed. That's a pretty long chain of breakthroughs. Scientific American quotes one researcher praising the two teams, saying, It's not so much that they've come up with a model that works, it's that they've taken away a constraint that we thought was sacrosanct for the last 20 years. Look, you pinheads who attacked me for this, you guys are just desperate. How'd the moon get there? How'd the sun get there? Our sun is a third generation star. Starting from gaseous clouds and dense nebulae containing many heavy elements. It condensed under the inexorable pressure of gravity until it was hot and dense enough to experience nuclear fusion at its core. As stars go, our sun is an average yellow star. How'd I get there? Can you explain that to me? How come we have that and Mars doesn't have it? Venus doesn't have it. How come? Why not? How'd it get here? How did that little amoeba get here? Crawl out there. How'd it do it? Come on. You have order in this universe. You have an order in the universe. Tide comes in, tide goes out. Okay, yeah, the moon does it. Fine. How'd the moon get there? Who put it there? Did it just happen? Okay, if we have existence, if we have life on Earth, how come they don't have it on the other planets? Were we just lucky? Some meteor would do this? Come on. You know, I, I see this stuff, it's desperate. As I've said many times, it takes more faith to not believe and to think that this was all luck, that every, all this human body, the intricacies of it and everything else, all luck, then it does to, to believe in a deity.